Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clear your search history on Google Maps. So if you go here and you type in the search bar or tap into the search bar here, once you have Google Maps open, it will show you a list of locations that you have recently searched for or tried to navigate to. If you want to clear this list and get rid of all of these, you know, if someone else is going to use your account or you want to show or display like what I'm doing, what you would then want to do is navigate back to the home page here on your Google Maps app. And then what you want to do is you need to be logged in to do this, obviously. Uh, in the upper right hand corner, you're going to see your user icon or your icon that'll take you to where you can open up your settings. So here you can see all of my settings and options here. If I just tap into settings, which is the gear icon here, it opens up my Google Maps settings. Everything from dark mode to scales and voice accent and everything in between. And what I want to do is scroll down until I see something that says Maps History. If I tap on the option there that says Maps History, it'll open up my Maps activity from all of my Google Maps usage. And then we have a couple of options that we can do. As you can see, it, the auto delete option is off. If we tap on the auto delete option there, that will allow us to basically uh, delete activity older than a specific time frame by selecting that option, then tapping on the drop down menu, and let's say after three months, delete everything. Now, if you don't want to delete anything, you go on a yearly trip, you want to go ahead and have that autofill every time you open up the Maps app, then you just select the don't auto delete anything. So if that's what you want to do, you can select your auto delete options here. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that and show you how to just delete your history altogether. So now if we see something by scrolling down a little further here, something right here that says today it shows you your today usage of the Maps app and what you've searched for up to this point today. But if we just tap on the delete option there or the drop down menu next to our calendar and search bar there, you can see that we can delete today, we can delete a custom range, or we can delete all time. If I go ahead and tap on delete all time there, it will then let me know that it's going to delete everything. All map activity will be permanently deleted and I will have to type in everything from this point uh, to go ahead and build up my history once again. And then once I do this and I tap the delete button there at the bottom of the screen, it will then say deletion complete. All right, the last thing that you're going to want to do to really clear everything out to where it's not going to show the history and recommendations and things like that. If we tap in the search bar once again after we do that, you'll see you'll still, you'll still see some recommendations here. And so what you need to do is tap on the I right here in the upper right hand corner. It says this information is based off of your web and app activity. So we want to turn this off. So just tap on the learn more option here. It'll open up a Safari browser or whatever browser you're using here, Android, if it's Chrome, whatever you're you know selected to use. And then what you want to do is you basically want to go and tap on the saving activity option here. And we want to go ahead and turn this off. So it says web and app activity. We want to just go and turn this off. Now, remember, this is going to include like your Chrome, your Google Drive. It's going to make your life a lot harder. But if you really want to remove everything, you'd want to tap that turn off option there and then go back and you would see there would be no recommendations, no search history at all. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions about any of these steps here today, don't forget to comment down below. I'll get to those as soon as possible. If it helps you out, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.